Hey everyone, today we are diving deep into the world of YouTube ad campaigns. If you have been running YouTube ads and you are wondering how to measure their performance effectively, you have come to the right place. In this video, we will break down the key metrics and steps you need to follow to assess the success of your campaigns. I have also got a surprise for you regarding a more detailed breakdown of metrics. So stick around till the end. Let us get started. Customizing your columns To begin analyzing your YouTube ad campaign performance, head to your main AdWords dashboard and navigate to the Campaigns tab. Here, we will start by customizing our columns to see the metrics that matter. Depending on your account, you might already have some columns set up, like conversions or conversion actions. For those who don't, you will want to create a new conversion column. Let us call this column All Conversions. This will show us all the conversions related to our campaign. It is crucial for understanding how your campaign is performing in terms of achieving your goals. Now, let us add some more custom columns to give us a comprehensive view of our campaign's performance. Here are a few critical metrics you should consider including Cost This tells you how much you are spending daily. Impressions The number of times your ad is shown CPM or cost per mila The cost per 1000 impressions CPC Cost per click How much you pay each time someone clicks you on your ad CTR Click-through rate This is a vital metric that shows the percentage of people who click on your ad after seeing it We will explore its significance in more detail later Within the conversions category, you can also set up specific conversion actions you want to track, like signups. For example, let us say you want to measure the cost per signup. To do this, create a cost per signup column, calculating cost per conversion. To calculate your cost per signup, first select cost from the drop down menu, then choose divided by, and pick conversions under the conversion actions category. Select your specific signup conversion action. This will give you the cost per signup, which is a critical metric to determine how efficient your campaign is at achieving your objectives. Once you have set up your columns, make sure to save your custom layout for easy access in the future. You can name it something like Test 1 and save and apply it. With these columns in place, you can now access your AdWords dashboard and see essential data like cost conversions and cost per conversions you can also analyze your click-through rate view rate impressions and cost per click these metrics provide insights to how your campaign is performing moreover you can filter the data to review performance over different time periods for instance if you have just launched a campaign you might want to focus on today's data this allows you to assess your campaign's immediate impact and make adjustments if needed. A quick tip, I highly recommend not removing campaigns, even if they are not performing well. By keeping them, you retain valuable data that can help you identify which audiences and campaigns need improvement. That is a wrap on the basics of how to analyze the performance of your YouTube ad campaigns. Remember, in the world of YouTube advertising, data is your best friend. That is for today. If this concept resonated with you, then stay tuned for our next video where I will introduce how to master YouTube ads, a step-by-step -step guide to creating effective ad creatives. Thank you for watching and I will see you on to the next one.